In this video, we can see how we can import current set missions into DJI Pilot and DJI Fly for the Mavic 3, for example. And we have perfect results with the Ultra Helix and the 2D uh, Polygon Elevation mission. We can see here the result. If we go into Blender and uh, I did a 4K uh, export, we can see that it's uh, perfect with about 290 uh, images. So this is a mixed uh, procedure. I use the Ultra Helix mission and the 2D Polygon Elevation mission to do this. And at the end, I fly around the house to have the, the close images from this uh, barn. So here we can see a uh, meta shape, but it also works on Meshroom and also on Reality Capture. So really amazing results with these missions. Now let's have a look into the, the mission itself, how it works. So first the Ultra Helix mission, you can see it uploads the mission to the aircraft, to the Mavic 3. So it seems the Mavic 3 has real waypoints. I don't see that if we have only virtual stick missions. Really interesting point, I will check that uh, in the future, uh, what really happens here. And now we can see that the whole mission is full automatic and we can always see the barn, you can see it on the, the image below, is in the center. So that's completely new now in the map creator. We can see here uh, upside in reality capture the 2D mission, uh, which is Terra following and also the Ultra Helix. And I can uh, make both mission with one battery from the, the aircraft. You can always see on the, the image below that I have always the barn who is the target of the, the shooting. And that gives us this uh, amazing uh, results. Another important point is that we can use more than 100 waypoints and to load the, the missions into the DJI Fly app, it goes really fast on iOS. On the RC control from DJI who uses uh, Android 10, it's not the, the same uh, speed, but it also works. We will see that later uh, in this video. To import the current set files in DJI Fly, it's much more complicated as in DJI Pilot. In DJI Pilot, we have a, a button to import a current set mission. I use a Google Return Drive to, home. to do it uh, also on the place. And we will see in this video how we can always uh, use iOS directly with the map creator to create uh, the missions. So now we will switch to the polygon uh, mission, elevation mission. We can see it here. It's a uh, full automatic. You can also see the altitude uh, who is changing during the, the mission. And that is also uh, very interesting to be close to the object, to have full Terra mission. That's now also new in the map creator. We can have a polygon with five, six, seven, eight points and it will calculate the elevation full automatic. You can also see it on the video uh, above on the uh, um, reality capture. We have integrated the 3D helix and the 2D uh, polygon mission. And the advantage is also that we can have one battery and we can do both missions. Now, if you have a look on the altitude, it's changing. So that gives us a closer look to the object here on the barn. And the 2D mission is interesting to have more from the surrounding for the stitching at the end in the photogrammetry software. It's important that we have both mission, but for close details, it's the Ultra Helix who gives us the best uh, results. So I'm happy that I can use now both aircrafts, the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Enterprise to do this. I did it with the, the two aircrafts, uh, this uh, shooting, also to see the difference what uh, happens. Now we will see a little bit more in detail how we can import these current set missions Return directly to into DJI Fly. With the DJI Fly app, we can edit missions without be connected to the aircraft. 
So the latest aircraft was connected was the DJI Mavic 3. I go to camera view and we can see we have the capability to edit missions. What we have to do if we will copy a mission into DJI Fly, we have first to create a dummy mission. Two waypoints will be enough and <clears throat> we will save this mission. And then we will go back to the map creator and we will create a mission. We have uh, new functions in the map creator. So we can see it here. We have DJI Fly Comset and we have DJI Pilot 2 Comset files or Google Carmel files. I'm actually on DJI Fly Comset. The Comset files are a little bit different as the capabilities to create missions is also different between these two uh, apps. So first now I have also to check that the pitch is at minus about minus 70 degrees <clears throat> and then uh, if you are outside Europe you have to choose the world after uh, 30 meters in Europe you can use the more precise 25 meter for the elevation. Now I will create the 2D mission What we can see that we have the take images grid uh, on the screen. It was not like that before. So if we go into the settings, I will change to DJI Pilot. We have only the edges from the polygon as we can use the distance trimming function. So we have less uh, waypoints, but that's not possible for the DJI Fly app. There we have only for each waypoint take image possibilities. So I go back to DJI Fly and now I will save the Comset file directly to DJI Fly. What we can see now on the screen is the cloud drive and also on my iPhone drive I will choose on my iPhone, I will choose DJI Fly and then we have to go to the Wayline folder, Wayline mission <clears throat> and I will choose the latest one and I will move my mission inside. Now we have to go back to the file manager. So if we choose the overview from the file manager, it has also the iCloud drive we have on my iPhone, DJI Fly, Wayline Mission, choose the latest one. <coughs> Then we go with the file manager into the folder. Now we can see our fly 2D mission and the original uh, mission. So I will rename my own mission. For this I have to copy the name. And I will rename also this mission to old. Then I will rename the mission we just created. I will delete the old one and we go back to DJI Fly. We have to finish the edit mission. And now I will load uh, my mission. So we can see we have the mission we just created with the two waypoints, the dummy. And now we have the cross mission uh, with the polygons. Now we can see we have 50 waypoints. I choose one, so we have take images, the right speed, we have minus 71, 71 degrees gimbal angle, so it's all full automatic. I can just launch it and it will take the images. Now, 
important as we have to uh, we have added a new file we have to save this one and if i will load now my mission i can see we have also the the image the preview uh, from the mission it's now the the right image I will create my dummy mission with two waypoints, then save this one. And now I go back to the map creator. I will create the 3D mission. It automatically down scale the altitude to 15 meters. So we will choose to uh, ultra helix and I will add the Ultra Helix uh, mission. Here we have the same, uh, we can save this mission. Just check it that we are on DJI Fly KMZ. And I will <coughs> directly save it on my iPhone in DJI Fly. Wayline mission, <coughs> we have created now uh, a new one. And we can also check if we are on the right mission. So I will save it uh, here. And now I go to the file manager. And <coughs> I will rename my mission. So it's the same procedure as we had before. I choose to rename the mission. I copy all, rename it to old. And now I have my mission with the right name. I will delete this one. And now I will go back to DJI Fly. And I will load this one we just created. I have just to finish this one, load it. And now I have my Ultra Helix mission. Uh, we will check what we have here. We have more than uh, 130 waypoints, so that's no problem. And if we go to the waypoint, we see a take image. We see the speed. It's a uh, uh, right for the distance for uh, DNG uh, raw images. And we have here a marker, a point of interest. So the, the gimbal angle will go down automatically to the point of interest who is created with three meter altitude. That makes sure that uh, every radius and every altitude we have always the right angle. And this angle changes if we have bigger radius or smaller radius. So this uh, will always point to the target. And that's really comfortable. It's a full automatic mission who gives a really good result. Don't forget to save this one. Now we will have a look on the DJI RC. First thing to do is to give access to the internal memory. You can do that in the settings. So we can see our SD card and also the internal uh, folder from Android. And here it's a little bit more complicated to introduce the, the files, the COM set files. We have first to copy them on the SD card and then <clears throat> to add it into the Android uh, folder. If you have copied the ComSet file to the SD card, we have then to copy the file to Android Data DJI Files Waypoint. Here we can see the missions. Always create first a dummy mission and copy then into it and then into the DJI Fly app without connection. It works similar like on iOS you can load your mission. 
it takes a few seconds on the RC control. It's very fast on iOS, but here it takes a few seconds. On Android 10, we have still access to this uh, folder, but on Android 11 and above, it's no more, longer possible. That's the reason why DJI should really add a plus button where we can add easily uh, crumb set files to the RC or the Android uh, higher than 10. That's uh, very easy. On DJI Pilot 2, we have a button to import uh, missions. So you can just see it here with the Mavic 2 Enterprise, we can use the same missions. The com set file is different. We have also some new functions uh, in the Auto Helix. You can see always the barn in the image below. So the pitch angle here is calculated. We have not this point of interest function like in DJI Fly. So it's really the map creator who calculates for each of this position. You can see it here a little bit more in detail that we point always to the target. So that's full automatic, very comfortable to use and gives us these uh, best results. So for Android, it's really important that we contact DJI. You can do that with the, into the forums or per email to add this functionality into DJI Fly for the Mavic 3, also for the Mini 4 and other aircrafts. And it's important that we do that. Uh, as I told, told you uh, above uh, Android 11, it will not be possible to import files into the Android folder. I get really amazing results with this method. You can see it here in Reality Capture. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, thanks for watching.